Hi guys, this is your sister Karen Gidden in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I want to come to you with a very strong uh, revelation that the Most High has placed in my heart. And I want to share it with the body of the Messiah because I believe that this is very, 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 very important. And you will begin to see certain things happening uh, because the Lord is moving. Let me go straight into the revelation that the Most High has given to me. The Lord placed in my spirit uh, concerning his people. Now, you've got to know who God's people are, okay? When I say God's people, obviously, yes, I do talk about the 12 scattered tribes all over the world. Uh, that is from the descendant, descendant of Jacob. But equally, when I say God's people, I am talking those who walk with Yah, hallelujah, those who have a beautiful relationship with the Most High God, or Yah. So, we know that the body of Christ uh, take on various roles in this life, because we need work to sustain us. We need work, we need money to get through on an everyday basis. But the Lord began to speak to me and he let me know that certain jobs that we do as children of Yah, as children of the Most High, he is going to judge us, hallelujah, based on our job. So just because you are a born again, you are walking with the Lord, if you're in a job that is wicked, okay, that is offensive to the Most High, you will be judging it. Two jobs, uh, we know that there's other jobs out there, like prostitution and selling yourself and all of that. They call it job, but anyways. Um, two jobs came up to me when the Lord was speaking to me about that, about this. And it is the police force and uh, the army. The police force and the army. Why am I talking about this? Why is it that the Most High Yah has brought this up in my spirit? Because it's a job, right? And you think, okay, law enforcement can be that bad because they're there to protect people. Brothers and sisters, as we approach the end of days, things are about to change. And this is what I'm telling you, is what the Most High Yah, with the Holy Spirit, revealed in my heart, because this is a revelation I'm giving, okay? Things are about to change. And the Most High Yah wants me to warn he wants me to warn those who are called by his name, the separated ones that's in the police force and in the army. The Most High wants you to get out. Yes, I know this message is very, very strong. I know you're thinking, get out. How am I going to survive? Brothers and sisters, there's going to be some wicked Listen to me very, very clearly because I'm speaking as the manifestation of the Holy Spirit is laid upon me. There is going to be some wicked guidelines and protocols that is coming or will be coming through the police force and the army. Okay? Very, very, I mean, okay, they're wicked as they are now, but this is nothing. This is nothing compared to what is coming, the protocols and the guidelines that is coming down uh, from the higher hierarchy in the police force and the army is from the fallen angels. Now, I know that God's people, some of them will stay to the very end, okay? 
And when I say the very end, what I mean by this is they will eventually get out when their wicked government comes to them and say, look, in order for you to be a police and in order for you to be a soldier, you've got to take the mark of the beast. You've got to be chipped, right? Uh, because if not, you're not going to get paid and you won't be able to buy anything. So I believe at that point, those in Christ will wake up and realize, okay, this is the mark of the beast. I ain't taking the chip. And then they're going to make that decision at that time. But what the Lord is showing me is that if you are, uh, the Lord is showing me that those of you who is tugging at your heart to get out now, rather than wait until when they issue the mark of the beast, you have to get out. Now, there's a question that you might say, okay, why is it that in the end of days, the government will use UN soldiers to go into different countries? Because they will. Uh, they're going to go into America. They're going to go into Britain, into Germany, all over the place. Okay, these UN soldiers. One of the main reasons why they've set up the UN soldiers is because the normal soldiers and the normal police officers okay when I say normal I mean godlike you know those who walk with the Lord but they're still soldiers and police and all of that certain things the protocols that's going to come down from the fallen angels they're not going to do it so they're going to need these UN soldiers to carry out their wicked uh, evil plan uh, to, to hurt and harm people. Because like I said, the normal soldiers and the normal police officers will say, hang on, I don't agree with that. That's very wicked. I'm not going to have a part. And at that point, they're going to be fired. So when you have police officers and soldiers being fired right, left and center, leaving the police forces, leaving the army because of the wicked protocol that they're issuing, you're going to have a shortage now these UN soldiers and other law enforcement officials, they're not the ordinary Joe blog. These are the ones that have taken the mark of the beast. So you can imagine the brutality and the wickedness that is going to come from these people. So when the Lord placed that on my heart to warn those who have ears to air, hear and to listen, that those of you who are in the police force and the army get out because like i say what the lord showed me the guidelines and the protocols that is coming um is going to be very very wicked and you know keep an eye out saints keep an eye out because you will see more fallen angels popping up in the police force and the army okay they're gonna pop up you're gonna see them the lord is gonna reveal them to you uh more and more just like you know that guy a lot of people say oh well you know that guy that uh killed george floyd what is i'm not in no battle with anybody uh whether you think george floyd is dead he's an actor whether you think that police guy that killed him is an actor it's up to you but I know what the Lord showed me concerning that police officer that stood on his neck. That police officer is a fallen angel. He's a fallen angel. And they're all over the place, brothers and sisters. And with social media and all of that, you're going to pick them up more. You're going to see people operating differently. And you're going to think, okay, this is not human. And one of the things that give them more is their eyes. Okay? Um, so, you know, I, I thank God for other brothers and sisters who have already retired from the police force and from the army. I give God thanks for you and um, that you're not there. But those of you who are in the army and the police force, you need to get out. Not only that, brothers and sisters, but... You are strengthening the hands of evildoers. And what do I mean by that? Okay, let's take Babylon. Let's take Babylon, USA for a moment. Um, how many 
illegal wars that these people shouldn't say people sorry i do do apologize my beautiful american brothers and sisters i apologize i wasn't talking about you i was talking about the government really it's not you how many illegal wars that the government of babylon mr babylon usa uh have entered and soldiers have backed them soldiers have backed. now if you are a soldier and you have entered into battle illegally. If you entered into battle illegally and you didn't know, but once it comes to your attention that you know what, oh, I shouldn't have, we shouldn't have done that. It was illegal and all of that. And you haven't repented. You will be judged on that. This is how serious God takes our work. It's like, say a doctor a christian doctor and a christian nurse um you know when i say christian i mean born again i'm not talking play play i'm talking true sanctified set apart christians okay and say for instance a doctor and a nurse is um their line of job as a doctor he's a surgeon but he's a uh transgender surgeon okay and Yes, he may be a child of God, but if he's going to operate on a man, the change is private from a penis to a vagina, or he's going to give that man breast augmentation. And this is a man, and this is a Christian doctor working on a male to transform them into a female. He will be judged on that your jobs that you do brothers and sisters will be judged and um, i know i was offered a job to work with doctors doing you know what breast augmentation trans nah mm -mm. i turn it down because i know that the lord is going to judge me on that I know you will. You will be judged on your jobs. So, you know, um, as a police officer, a Christian, you have to think about this and get out. You will get out. I know you will. But like I say, some of you will wait until when they issue the mark of the beast, which is a 666 which is the one that, you know, obviously is a chip that will control everything. And you're going to know and wake up and say, oh, I'm not taking that. But if you can get out now, you should think about it very, very seriously. Because as I said, it's the protocols that's going to come down from the fallen angels because they run, uh, they run these law enforcement okay brothers and sisters they run these things so i'm looking at um just a minute brothers and sisters just a minute kaylin i'll call it on a bit because i'm videoing go on please go on go. he's not going <laughs> right i don't want any noise okay darling okay Oh, that's my 16 year old son sorry about that would you close the door for me please thank you um so yeah so brothers and sisters this is just a warning message uh especially to the police officers and to the soldiers you know if you're in that field that line of job um get out it's going to be very very sticky very very soon that's why they're going to have the UN soldiers coming in. These soldiers are going to be very, very demonic. They're going to have the mark of the beast. So they're going to be brutal. I think Paul called them brute beast. Uh, I forgot what scripture it is where he address the nature of these people as brute beast. That is what it is. Okay. So I just wanted to come to you and release this. Be strong be bold be courageous walk with yah just like enoch enoch 
all praises to the most high Yah who lives above the heavens. Yah eternally bless you. I love you all and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In Jesus Christ's precious holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen. Thank you.